What's up, YouTube? Um, I just wanted to give my thoughts on a recent uh, trend that I've seen going on on store exclusive variants and um, how they are, what my opinions are on them, in case you guys even care. Um, so I'm just going to start off with saying store exclusive variants I am staying away from. Um, given that I am in the variant market, unless I want it for my personal collection, I am not buying it. Just because I'm having, I've found I'm having difficult flipping them for the money that I thought I was going to be getting. And for example, I recently, my last store exclusive variant I bought was, um, sorry, I don't know if you guys want to even look at my stuff here, but, um, was, um, <clears throat> The Del Auto um, Suicide Squad versus Just the League. So I bought the three sets. The uh, let me see if I can see what you guys. So I bought the uh, exclusive three pack variant with the color black and white. Um, from what was it from? from a website and I'll show you guys that where I bought it from. I, that's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys where to buy the thing, buy these before don't go to eBay and find them if you want them for your personal collection. But just because it says something, I think they're creating a, um, a false market, if you will. Um, they are saying that they're rare just because there's only 800 made just because something is, 800 only 800 me right 800 made that doesn't make it rare um rarity comes well let me take that back it may be rare but that doesn't mean it's going to be pricey does that make sense so just because something is rare does not mean that somebody is going to want to buy it so you see what i'm saying here like even in a 9.8, they're only getting 250 for the Virgin variant. And I thought that would be way more than that. Um, I intended, intended to flip these. And I did flip them, but I only broke even. So I didn't make any money off of it. So I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on store exclusive variants. I mean, they're coming out every week, I think. Um, the big one that's coming out is... Probably there's a Kirkman variant with uh, Super Suns. Um, I think there's a Matina variant with Super Suns. Um, I'm going to stay away from all of them um, just because I cannot flip them and make the profit that I want. But if I want them for my personal collection, let me show you guys where to go. So for if you want something for Michael Turner, you would go to Aspen. Um, I purchased the Michael Turner because I am a Turner fanboy. So Aspen Store, I think they still have them, actually. You can still order them, yeah. The Darth Maul right here. So I ordered these because um, I love the cover. Turner fan. So I ordered those. So yeah, don't buy them on eBay. You can get them for $30 right there. Uh, next one, if you wanted to buy something of Del Lotto, go to Frankie's. Comics.com, and he does exclusives for. See, here's oh, get off here. The fuck. Um, so here, you can you could have pre-bought this for a long time ago. Um, this is what a new one that's coming out that's going to be. You could have bought the pre-sale, you know, for fifty bucks. You can still get the. Uh, Color in black and white for Venom 4 for $15. So if you want them for your personal collection, you can go to these websites. So there's Delato. Art Germ usually goes through Legacy Comics. So Legacy Comics. Com. Um, yep, I think this is it. <clears throat> so they usually have art germ exclusives see there's the uh suicide squad uh versus justice league art germ exclusive um 
Another website for Art Germ is ForbiddenPlanet.com. They usually have some of his exclusives. Uh, J. Scott Campbell has his own website. So, J. Scott Campbell. <clears throat> so, this is basically what I wanted to show you guys. Just, you know, where you can go get them at retail price. And don't pay the aftermarket crap that people are trying to... Um, trying to sell you on eBay. So J. Scott Campbell is big time, so he has his own site. I think tomorrow he's selling uh, Venom number three, if you're <coughs> interested. It's going to be signed. I think it's Venom number three. Um, sorry, I don't know why my computer is slow as Christmas today. Um, but I think... He is going to be selling. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. It starts tomorrow at 12 Eastern. Yeah, right here. Um, the Venom 1 in 100 signed. Um, it says it sold out. That's just because sale begins at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So I think that's 11 a.m. Eastern Time, if I'm not mistaken. So if you want that, it'll be $175. So I'm not buying it whatsoever. A, I think it's ugly, and B, um, there's no way I could, I'd have to sell that thing for, well, I would want to sell that thing for double what I paid for it. To pay $200 for it, I'd have to sell it for 400 and you might be able to get that, but I'm not going to risk it, so. But if you like J. Scott Campbell and you like that cover, here you go, here's your opportunity, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, there are some other comic book characters, I mean comic book characters, comic book artists that have exclusive deals with comic book stores, so there's KRS Comics, that is uh, Kirkman, Tyler Kirkman, he has his own uh, exclusive, um, so all of his stuff goes through here, if you're into that, um, looks like they have some Campbell stuff as well. Um, I think this is where, uh, this may be a Kirkman as well. So yeah, Super Sons, that's going to be the next big one, I think. Also, there's uh, Joe Benitez, he has his own website. Uh, John Tyler Christopher has his own website. Uh, some other websites you can go to is Unknown Comics. Um, I don't know why that didn't work. Unknown comic books, sorry. So they have some of their, you know, they have some exclusives um, through here that you can buy. Uh, store exclusives. So, you know, here's some more stuff from Kyle Tower Kirkman. Kirkham. I wanted to say Kirkman, I don't know, Kirkham. <clears throat> so. It's just another website for you guys to go. But basically, I just wanted to say, you know, um, do you, just don't buy it because it's rare. It's um, it only has like an 800 print run. Um, buy it because you like it. Um, and if you want to keep it in your personal collection, I I I'm I'm staying away. Like I said, from store exclusives, I'm just not buying them anymore. I don't think they're going to last in the marketplace. Uh, that's been proven. Even the Aspen Turner ones are not are not lasting. You know, they're not retain they're not retaining their value. Um, so I'm just staying away. And I also wanted to give you guys some some websites to go to if you were into this stuff. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. And peace out.